Hey there, happy Monday, my friends. The psalmist wrote in Psalm 139 and 14, I will praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I want you to accept that last phrase. You are wonderfully made. I read recently that if uncoiled, the DNA in all of your body's cells would stretch 10 billion miles. That's enough to reach from here to Pluto and back. Your body, for instance, has enough iron in it to forge a three inch long nail. And I don't mean a fingernail, I mean a nail nail. You also have enough carbon to make 900 pencils, enough fat to make seven bars of soap, and some of you maybe a few less, clearly others of us a few more. Your body contains enough phosphorus to make 2,200 match heads while also having enough water to fill a 10 gallon tank. You are wonderfully made. They say that laid end to end, an adult's blood vessels could circle Earth, uh, Earth's equator four times, and that the human heart beats more than three billion times in an average lifespan, and that your heart will also pump about a million and a half barrels of blood during your lifetime. That's enough to fill 200 train tank cars. In camera terms, your eyes see the equivalent of about 576 megapixels. Our brains have over 100 billion nerve cells and has long-term memory capable of holding up to one quadrillion, that's one million billion bits of information. Okay, this time I want you to say it with me and maybe you're by yourself, so say it under your breath. I don't want anyone thinking you're crazy, but I want you to say it with me. I am wonderfully made. And by the way, don't forget, you're one in a million. Actually, you're one in 7.8 billion. Because although we have the similarities of basic human needs and body structure, there are some things about us that make us special and unique. For instance, out of the 7.8 billion people in the world, you are specifically identifiable by the iris of your eye. And incredibly, even your two irises don't match each other. A study in the Journal of Forensic Dental Science has found that the pattern of elevations and depressions in the lips are as unique as fingerprints. And also like a fingerprint, the tongue has its own pattern that is uniquely yours. Your voice, unlike anybody else's. All of this, along with our individual talents and our personality and experiences, combine to make us who we are. So are you ready to accept it? You and I are wonderfully made. Some of us are introverts. We prefer to be quiet. Others are extroverts and we are energized by crowds. Some of you that are watching this morning are morning people and others, like me, are night owls and it's against our religion morning. Uh, someone said once that there are two kind of people. There's the one that jumps out of bed before the alarm and says, good morning, Lord. And then there are those of us who hit the snooze, roll over and say, God, Lord, it's morning. And so we're all different. Learning what energizes us, what environments are most conducive to our productivity or lack thereof is vital to our success. So I just want to say, release the self-imposed burden of matching someone else's giftedness. It's okay if you're not the best at everything or the expert on everything. And Paul's second letter to the church in Corinth, he actually teaches in chapter 10 the danger of unhealthy comparisons. At one end of the spectrum, it leads to arrogance, and at the other end of the spectrum, it leads to inferiority. So maybe you feel like you don't measure up to someone else. You may think, God can't use me like that person, or I'm not as value, I don't have the value as that individual, or I wish I were more outgoing like that person. I'm just too shy. Don't underestimate God's ability to use your particular gifts for his glory. Of course we shouldn't use our weakness as an excuse to not grow or improve. We just have to balance that drive to grow with the understanding that God makes each of us different. And so I encourage you today to identify and function confidently in your strengths those traits that make you uniquely qualified to be successful in your context of life. My friends, you fit into the big picture of this world just as you are, and you are designed for greatness. I, don't ever let anyone else tell you otherwise, including yourself.
And oh, did I mention it? You're wonderfully made.